For my entire life, I, uh, with, with all the experience I had and uh, all the knowledge I gained from other instructors, it is always a pleasure to see students growing from little into higher than me. Part of me is in him. Always. I can go around and say, you know, this boy, he trained with me. My name is Gabriel Varga and I'm fighting out of Victoria, BC. Beautiful front kick that snapped Obwanski's head back there. Gabriel Varga! I'll be fighting Mosab Amrani on Glory 20. Mosab Amrani is the number one ranked featherweight. Mosab's a very good fighter. He always comes uh, with a very fast output and he likes to hit hard and, and I recognize that he is one of the best. Gabriel Varga, he started training at a very young age and he became a black belt himself in his teenage years before switching over to Muay Thai and to kickboxing. He grew up under a family, his father was his instructor, so he's got a pedigree of fighting in martial arts growing up. His greatest asset pretty much as a fighter is that he's just always one step ahead of everyone. Oh yeah, I surprised him all the time. <laughs> he's, uh, he's good, he usually gets a little bit the better at me, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's good sparring for me. The black, black belt code, the color belts will no and never understand what it means until they get to be black belt. At that moment and today, I would like to promote Gabriel Varga to his first, fourth degree uh, black belt. Sensei, Os. Thank you very much. It's like being a parent of any any child in any sport. You're always hoping your child is going to do well, but I, I hope the most positive influence, the rewarding influence I could have is uh, helping him realize that if you there's something you want, working on it, then you most likely will, will get an opportunity. In Glory 17, uh, my first fight, I fought exactly the way I wanted. Uh, I got to prepare for my opponent, and everything went according to the plan. In the second fight against Shane, uh, he came out swinging and, and I just decided to, to do the same. Uh, I didn't have a game plan for him, so it was, just, it was just kind of last minute construction. The tournament contender win at Glory 17 was spectacular. Uh, I was so happy with it. But still at the end of the day, it wasn't the championship. And that's what I've always had my mindset on. So, you know, it wasn't everything I wanted. And this next fight is everything I want. I've never had trouble uh, traveling and competing in foreign countries. I've done Austria, Japan, China, it just the list goes on and on. I can't take credit for everything because I have so many people who work with me and help me. There's, I have my pad holder, Craig McWilliam, my other pad holder, uh, my brother, Aaron Varga, uh, Josh Johnsey from Glory, sparring partner. I have some local guys I work with. And then I talk with Alin from uh, House of Champions. I do like to watch tapes of my opponents. Uh, I find the more I watch, the more comfortable I get with them, the less nervous I become. And it just can't hurt to have a game plan. You know, just look and see what his strengths are and make sure that I'm able to defend myself against everything he's really good at. I approach every fight with the same, the same attitude that I'm gonna win. And to accomplish that, you really have to believe it. The, the glory belt has been my dream for the last two years. Uh, I've always wanted to reach the pinnacle of, of kickboxing and, and this is my chance. Glory has been great for Canadians. I feel the talent was always there, but glory has allowed us to, to shine. Joe Veltellini picking up the belt was a big stepping stone. After glory 20, we'll have two belts. Josh Johnsey 
will most likely be in a contender tournament coming up. Uh, he must be in that. I mean, he's doing such a good job, 3-0. Um, yeah, I mean, I just feel that we've always had the, the talent, but now we actually get to show it on the international level. Ready to go.